What's up guys and welcome to another project box video this is a finance of race fan game that we discussed on the channel back in june actually it's been quite a few months since then and there is a bunch of stuff to cover including a gameplay trailer and a look at all of the animatronics that are going to be in the game or it looks like most of them and it's going to be a lot of fun but of course if you guys want a full series on this game when it comes out if you guys want to see me play it leave a like on the video let's go for 1,000 likes in the first hour if you guys would like a full playthrough on the game when it's fully released and also drop a comment down below saying box and of course course hit that subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with all the newest videos that i'm going to be making anyways like i said we got quite a lot to go through in this video we have a few new updates to the project box website which is only like three of them well it's a bunch of new animatronics but there's only like three images in total so that's going to be really exciting i think everything else on there we've kind of already discussed there's a few things but like i said i think some of this is going to be shown in the trailer which like i said there's a full-on gameplay trailer that's been posted by the creator of the game on his youtube channel we're going to be going through that you know reacting to it and then breaking it down now i think it includes some copyrighted music so i might have to mute the trailer unfortunately but you know obviously if the trailer has you know the background music that it's supposed to have then you won't even notice but if it has like some you know finds phrase one background music then you know why i just kind of want to bring that up anyways let's get into the exciting stuff though and let's get into the trailer all right so let's see here please turn your brightness up until you can see the box below all right we'll do i'm excited though this is gonna be cool okay that's the house. Oh, and by the way, this takes place from the Silver Eyes in the Fourth Closet, which I didn't read. Okay, an alternate route after the Twisted Ones. Development started before the Fourth Closet. Okay, yeah, so I didn't read those, so I'm not going to know the storyline for this game. Oh, fun time for... Whoa, okay, this is cool. Wait, was that Wolf? Oh, my. Whoa, Balloon Boy. Oh, my. That's so cool how they change. Oh, my God. Golden Freddy? And there's Foxy, Twisted Foxy. Whoa, Balloon Boy, too. And Springtrap has, like, a ghost version. Okay, you guys might not be able to hear the music, but this music goes so well with this trailer right now. I helped him create, I think it said. We both wanted to love. Whoa, your father loved. I think it's... And now I have loved? I can't tell. Oh, my God, look at him. Oh, you're holding him back at the door. Oh, he's trying to break in. That is so cool. Hiding in the box. We saw that. We saw that before. Oh, Springtrap breaks in. And Funtime Freddy on the right. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, I can't wait to go back and break this down with you guys. Got a clock right there. Oh, February 27, 19. I know who did it. I still can't believe it. He's crying. He's got a book. He's got an endoskeleton book beside him. And, of course, the jump scare at the end. Wow. That was so cool. In development. That went really well with the music. <laughs> I really hope it's not copyrighted. In the room where you sleep. Yeah, that's the song right there. Oh, wait, there's still something here. Okay, what? what is this? Oh my, that's the box. Yep, that's the box. Oh, it's got different locks on it, but that's the box from FNAF 4. Oh, and that's how it ends right there. That is how it ends right there. Dang. That's pretty cool. All right. That, that's actually, that was a cool trailer. Not even going to lie. I actually really like that. Anyways, now we're going to go ahead and break it down. I'm actually going to switch the view here so you guys can see what I'm seeing and we'll kind of break it down that way because it should be a lot better. Okay, guys. So I have it currently recording what I'm watching on screen right now so that you guys can kind of see and go through it with me. And let's just, let's see. Okay. So I, I'm going to go ahead and skip to right about here. Okay, so the first scene we have right here is this house that's currently crushed. Now, I'm sure this has some kind of big significance in the, you know, the books. But for me, I, I can't, I don't know what this house is at all. It's some kind of crushed house, though. Maybe it's her house. I do not know. Uh, like I said, I really wish I could have read the books, or I would have, but I didn't. And once again, it says the Finance Freddy's, you know, fan game based on the book lore. The one lore I don't know. <laughs> That's what it's based on. Anyways, if we continue, it says an alternate route after the Twisted Ones. Development started before the Fourth Closet. So this takes place after the Twisted... Oh, an alternate route after the Twisted Ones. So that's really cool. He's kind of making his own story. Now, then we go on to this screenshot right here. Or not really screenshot, but you know, the video. Uh, this is going to be like the main kind of office, as you guys know. Uh, the animatronics are obviously going to be breaking in from the left door and the right door. We saw Twisted Freddy on the right side before that. And then we saw um, Springtrap on the left side. So, yeah, clearly this is going to be most of the animatronics are going to be coming from. And the box is behind us. And that's where we're going to be, you know, hiding from them, obviously. Now, if we continue onward, this is really cool. He kind of like went through all the animatronics. 
Uh, you got, you know, Freddy right there. And then you continue on. You got Bonnie on the left side. And they kind of change to, like, the lighting. You even got Twisted Wolf right there, which is really cool. And if we kind of continue slowly through here, you can see you got Mangle or Funtime Foxy uh, right there. And then you've got uh, Freddy again. And once again, he changes. You can kind of see, like, this version of him. There's like a, it looks like during the day, like, look, like right there. During the day, he becomes twisted, and then at night, he's like normal? I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't know the book lore, so it's it's hard for me to understand, you know, kind of like what's going on, but I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Anyways, after that, we got to look at Balloon Boy, who actually changes in the trailer to like a creepy version of himself. Uh, another look at Bonnie right there. And then, oh, here he is during the daytime, though. You can kind of see. So he becomes, like, Twisted Bonnie, obviously. He's got the sharp claws. He's got, like, the bloody mouth with the, the huge bunny teeth and the bunny uh, ears and stuff like that. A really, really cool-looking version of him. I love how these animatronics look. Now, there's another thing I wanted to bring up, though. I was a little bit worried, though, because in the trailer... I did notice that the frame rate was really, really low. I don't know if that's how he recorded it, but I'm really hoping that in the main game that doesn't kind of carry over. But yeah, the frame rate on the game seemed really, really low for the trailer, that is. Uh, and then, of course, got Springtrap right there in front. And he also becomes like this weird, like, shadow version of himself later on. But you can kind of see he's just kind of chilling there in the trailer, <laughs> this part of it at least. Really, really cool, though. Anyways, after that, we got Twisted Wolf once again. And I don't know if he's any different in the other scene that we saw him in compared to this one i think he's the same though but yeah he's such a cool like character overall i'm really excited to be able to see like him in his own game because yet i don't think we've had a game with twisted wolf in it yet which is very surprising like a fan game or anything like that so it's it's it's, it's gonna be nice to be able to actually see him in a game uh anyways after that we got golden freddy right here i'm assuming that's who that is uh it certainly looks like it judging by the form and stuff like that it doesn't look like twisted freddy at all um he just kind of stands there, though, and, of course, looks at us at the end. If we continue on, though, you got, uh, once again, Funtime Foxy right there. And Balloon Boy again. Uh, this is like kind of that, like, that music scene kind of introducing you to the characters. Got another look at Twisted Freddy in the light, which is awesome. Uh, once again, back to Bonnie, Springtrap. Oh, Twisted Foxy in the light. That is so awesome. I love how this character looks. It almost looks like there's something behind him, but I don't think so. You can see he's got these giant, like, he's he's so cool. Look, I love his little, like, shorts that he has on that are, like, tattered and beat up. He's got one arm missing, so no hook on this one. And it actually looks like there's maybe some blood coming out of his arm right there, too. But you can't really tell because, you know, he's red. Uh, he's actually missing an eyeball, too, but I'm, I'm so excited to see more of him in the game. He, he looks awesome. Uh, anyways, once again, oh, you can kind of see the change right here. Of him oh twisted wolf when do we pass him okay well there's a daytime version of twisted wolf uh once again the red mouth just all oh, the yellow teeth of like at the tops and just the giant sharp claws he looks sick too this is such a cool looking character um but yeah back to foxy then of course balloon boy who becomes this thing this little the child of satan like this is so creepy his eyes go more inward his teeth get sharp and he has these giant hands he just looks so unnatural and just that's so awesome i love how he looks right here uh and then once again we get a look at spring trap but this time he's like this shadow version of him i'm not sure what what's up with this like i said didn't read the books i don't know if there's a shadow trap or something a shadowy version of him that comes out during the day i have no idea interestingly enough though yeah the daytime version of him is this weird shadow version the nighttime version is the actual spring trap uh and then of course they show golden freddy or is that fredbear actually yeah, that might actually be a version of Fredbear. I'm not too sure, though. Um, anyways, if we continue on, it does say these, like, little lines of dialogue right here, which I couldn't really read because it's, like, very pixely. But it says, I helped him... I don't know. I can't read... Helped him real or... I, I don't know. Oh, I helped him create. Okay, yeah, you can kind of tell when it's actually you know, loading. So this person helped the person create uh, the animatronics, I'm assuming. And then, of course, you got this monitor that our character did show up on during the trailer, and this little head over here on the right side that we did see. I want to say in sister location, if I'm not mistaken. And then we got this cool little clock right here, which has Twisted Freddy on it. Or I guess it's normal of Freddy, because you can kind of see he's not, he doesn't look very twisted. Uh, it says, any time is fun time. And I don't know how this is going to play into the game. I'm assuming this is going to tell us, like, what time it is at night. I don't think it's going to be one of those situations where you have to constantly check the clock to see what time it is and make sure that you're not like maybe you have to do something at certain times i do not know uh, you have more dialogue right here which says 
we both wanted to love. So I guess they were in love with each other. I I don't. It's so it's so hard to understand the storyline when you didn't read the books. Like it's so difficult because there's so much stuff that's been introduced in the books that I just I don't know about. Um. Anyways, it, it, once again, you got the puppets box right here, which we do hide inside of. Which I'm curious because we're hiding in it, but the puppet is in it. So. I don't know, maybe at night he disappears or something. Like, if you turn off the light, he'll, like, go away. I have no idea. But that is some kind of hiding place. We do know that. Then again, once again, we got this control panel, which I did kind of break down in the last video. But there's just another look at it. And if we go along again, you've got more text right here, which says, Your father loved something. Okay, it just says your father loved. I guess well, it tell, probably tells us later on. Um, but then again, we got this door right here, which actually, the doors change? No, okay, no, it's just the, the coloring. So this is obviously the entrance door, as you can see on the bottom right, right there. And this is where I'm assuming Twisted Freddy probably comes from, I think. Or this might be the other side. I have to go back and look at the door hinges, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, this is where the animatronics, obviously, are going to show their little faces. And where you're going to have to hold down the door or hide, which is going to be super exciting. Uh, and then again, we got more text. And now I have loved. Okay, so and now I have loved. Okay. Uh, once again, you got a look at the door, which this one actually has Twisted Freddy at the actual door, which is cool. And we also get a look at kind of like what's going on around the door. So you got a suspicion meter. So obviously, if the uh, the animatronics become more suspicious of you, I'm going to I'm gonna assume they're going to kill you. Uh, and then we have the hold door function, which obviously that's where you put your hand up against the door, which we did see in this trailer. You kind of hold them out. And uh, yeah, it looks like he actually broke the glass. Because if we go back to here, you can see if that's the same door, which let's actually see. Yeah, that's the exact same door. The hinges are on the same side. So, yeah, when he gets angry, he smashes his head into the glass or something along those lines and eventually breaks in. Now, I am curious, though, because I don't know if it... No, I, don't, I guess it wouldn't carry over to every night. Because you figure if he keeps smashing that glass, eventually he's going to break it. But still, uh, you can kind of see this is actually the diner door. Wait, didn't this other door say entrance? No, okay, it says... Yeah, it says diner at the beginning. Oh, my God, my TV just scared me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the mic picked that up, but it sounded like the aliens were invaded for a second. Anyways, the, the door right here on the bottom, it says diner, and then it later turns to entrance, but it's the same door, it looks like, so that's interesting. Um, but either way, though, you can kind of see this is where she's obviously holding the door closed to keep him out, and you can actually check the door to see if he's gone or not. There's also these posts right here on the right side um, where you can kind of move around the room, so four is, I'm assuming, the left door, five is probably the right door, six is the computer and one might be the box and two and three i i don't know um or that could be yeah no i think that's how you move around the room but yeah this is a really cool scene to actually see her physically holding the door closed and seeing him trying to break in like that it was really cool you can kind of see this is later on in the night where the door actually has two shatters on it so he almost broke the glass right there which is pretty cool anyways then we go on to her hiding the box or hiding in the box you can see her suspicious meter is actually going up and you can actually exit the box by clicking that button i don't know who she's hiding from it doesn't look like look okay so it looks like the longer you sit in the box which i remember hearing about this last time the more your suspicion is going to go up so yeah, she's kind of chilling in there. Her suspicion goes up to full meter. She doesn't exit and spring trap comes in. So maybe if your suspicion goes too high, the animatronics will break in. You can also see Funtime Freddy right there. They both kind of break in right there. So I'm assuming this is maybe a death scene right here. Because like her suspicion went all the way up. She stayed in the box for too long. They broke in and they're going to kill her. I don't know. That's just a thought though. Uh, yeah, and you can also see he kind of stares at her right there at the end too. So yeah, not a good place to be in. Uh, this is a look at the... I'm assuming that's the right side of the office. Yeah, the the, the wall texture, you know, uh, matches the door right here. So I'm assuming this is in the office. You can guys see there's two books right here. It looks like it says the my the monopoly of a yogi i don't know what that is. i can't it's so hard to read like pixel art like you know words but yeah it says something of yogi and then you got a tape right here which our player actually grabs that which is interesting i'm assuming you know we're obviously going to be able to use that at certain points and then on the bottom right there you can actually see that that is probably an outline of what you're where you actually are in the room so that's at the desk obviously and then we have a book on the left which says spring fredbear I don't think it says Spring Freddy. I think it says Spring Fredbear. So, yeah, I don't know what that's hinting at, but still, uh, it's obviously some kind of design book. So, I mean, they made the animatronics. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's, you know, what that's kind of hinting at right there. Um, then, a, you know, a little castle in a snow globe just to make you feel a little bit a little bit better. And then also on the right side, you can see there's some kind of inventory management section right here. I'm assuming because I think he grabs a tape. Yeah, and it goes in there. So, you can see this is obviously where your inventory is going to be. Now, I'm assuming you could probably put that tape into the computer or something along those lines and it might do something. 
Oh, then again, who puts a tape in a computer? I, I don't know. Maybe it has a VHS player on it, you know, a VCR. Who knows? Uh, anyways, though, another look at the clock right here. But you can now see there's two scratch or three scratch marks right there on the left side of it. So that wasn't there before, I don't think. But still, just another simple look at the clock. Now, this is where things get interesting. I'm assuming this is that tape that we actually found right there, which the tape... No, it's not labeled at all. I was looking for like a date. Maybe we could like compare them. But no, February 27th, 1985. Um, this is obviously some character that's going to be pretty important. I know who did it. I still can't believe it. And once again, he's got like an animatronic kind of book right there. And uh, some coffee staying up late night. He's obviously upset about something. Um, anyways, if we continue on past that, uh, you got to... Oh, yeah, we got our first jump scare from uh, Twisted Freddy, which before that... What were we on right there? This looks like we're on the computer. Oh, so we were on the computer watching it. And we got jump scared, I'm assuming? I don't know. Yeah, because you can kind of see, look, yeah, we were on this TV watching it, computer, whatever you want to call it, and then we get jump scared from behind. So I think what it's trying to say is you can watch these during the night, but you risk getting attacked by the animatronics. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the same room, to, though, too, because you can see the box and, of course, the doors. So, yeah, he broke in while we were watching this tape and jump-scared us. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of getting one of those shake-the-head jump-scares right there. And that's it. I mean, obviously, it's in development. And then it goes on to show this, you know, random picture. Not random, but this mysterious picture of the box that we've heard so much about. And we've seen it so many times, but we've never been inside the box. We don't know what's in it, but it's there, and I'm assuming... He's going to obviously open it up in uh, this game right here. We're going to be able to see what's in there. And that's it. I, I mean, that's Project Box. I think it looks really, really cool. I'm super excited for it. Oh, and by the way, the images I was talking about on the website, I'm going to go ahead and put those on screen right now. It's just, you know, a look at the animatronics. You kind of see, you know, you got Fun Time, you've got uh, Twisted on the other row, and then you've got uh, Fred Bear or Golden Freddy on the bottom right there. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's a cool look at them all. And I think that's really it. I mean, I, I kind of scanned through the website, and there's a lot of places to go to on this website, but I went to the images, and I went to the uh, update section of the website and i didn't really see anything too worthwhile i didn't see anything really worth mentioning um it just kind of shows what was in the trailer which i can see that now um so yeah i don't know that's that's all that's all the info that we have right now but overall i'm super excited to see more of this game i think it's going to be great like i said i am a little bit worried about that fps you know that i saw in the trailer i really hope that doesn't carry over to the main game because that could be interesting but <laughs> i doubt it i feel like that's just you know how he recorded it you know it, it just had bad fps because of how, you know, the, the software he used. But anyways, guys, I'm this video here. Let me know your thoughts on Project Box in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be playing it? Yes or no? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section. And also leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.